Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. According to the NEC, is EMT permitted to be used as an equipment grounding conductor? And of course, what we're talking about here is using the conduit itself as an equipment grounding conductor instead of a wire type equipment grounding conductor. And the correct answer is yes. Now let's break down the scenario. Let's imagine that you have a friend that owns this commercial shop. She gives you a call. She says, hey, I've got one light over my cash register. Could you potentially install me another one? And you're like, sure, I can do it. You drive over there, you pull out a stick of EMT, you pipe it over, you go ahead and get ready to hang the light. In the meantime, you realize that you don't have a roll of green on the truck and you call me and you say, coach, can I install this light with no wire type equipment grounding conductor in the conduit? And the correct answer is yes. And we're going to have to go to a couple different code sections for this. And just to make sure that I'm being clear, just so you understand, from this light on the, well, I think it'd be my left-hand side, over to the new light, whatever side it's on as you're looking at it from the screen. As you go from this side to that side, you could potentially just run a hot and a neutral over there and use that equipment, or excuse me, use the EMT itself as an equipment grounding conductor. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. EMT, electrical metallic tubing, is permitted to be used as an equipment grounding conductor as specified in 358.60 and in 250.118. Now, when we get over to 358.60, it is the NEC article all about EMT. If you want to learn everything you ever needed to know about installing it, you could go over to EMT. It'll tell you use is permitted, use is not permitted. It'll tell you about securing and supporting. And when you get to .60, it just says flat out EMT can be used as an equipment grounding conductor. And where this code really derives from is back in 250.118, where there is a very long laundry list of items that are allowed to be used as equipment grounding conductors. Let's look at the paraphrase code language here it says the equipment grounding conductor either accompanied or excuse me my eyes i just got them worked on either accompanied or enclosed this with the circuit conductors must be one or more of the following types the first one is a conductor made of copper aluminum or copper clad aluminum this conductor can be solid stranded insulated covered or bare and can take the form of a wire or bus bar of any shape. So that's the one that we're most familiar with. It's called a wire type or a bus type equipment grounding conductor. The one that we're most familiar with is a wire type. Uh, the green stranded bare solid wire that you install with your circuits to act as the equipment grounding conductor. That's the one that we're most familiar with. I've only pulled five from this list, but it is a very long list of things that you might be surprised you can use as an equipment grounding conductor in lieu of a wire type. The second one is rigid metal conduit. The third one is inter intermediate metal conduit. And the one that we're talking about today is electrical metallic tubing, EMT. And then it goes on to talk about listed, listed flexible metal and a bunch of other ones, but most of the rest of this list has special parameters that you're allowed to use or that you must abide by if you're wanting to use this as an equipment grounding conductor. So don't just think you're going to pull out some liquid FET flex and use it without meeting the other requirements that are listed there in 250.118. So you are allowed to use EMT as an equipment grounding conductor itself. Now, often types, I'm all about pulling a wire type equipment grounding conductor on top of my EMT. I like to do both just for many reasons, in my opinion. And don't forget that there are specific cases in the NEC where you must pull a wire type equipment grounding conductor. I think there's some rules in HVAC. Um, in certain scenarios that you must have a wire type equipment grounding conductor. There are other pieces of equipment in the NEC that require or, or just the manufacturer specs that require a wire type equipment grounding conductor. I'm not going to get in the business of doing a lot of using rigid metal or EMT as my equipment grounding conductor. Although if done safely and properly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I am the electrical code coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. If you ever need anything from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.